Hello. My name's Jeff Goebel, and it is day something. 70 something. And although I've been uh, reasonably happy and reasonably productive and done some good work the last few days, uh, not so much yesterday, but I've been better. I'm not actually working on the job search project, and yesterday I had to do something that really sparked that uh, almost depression. The medication is keeping my my complete spirals of depression at bay, but yesterday was not a super happy fun time. And it's because this month I didn't get enough checks to cover the basics. And the basics are really usually covered by my regular checks, you know, the things that come in without me having to go and actually do hard labor work, the hosting income. Um, and I had to dip into my savings to pay regular bills. The 20th is today, and that's my one of my major bill dates. And so I have removed just enough money to not make the following month's rent. I can make next month's rent. But that means I'm behind, and I don't know if you've been in debt before, but being in debt is, is bad, but being behind is worse. Because if you're just making enough to pay the bills, being behind means you're not making enough to pay the bills. And since I'm not making enough to pay the bills at all, falling behind means a month less before I'm living in my car. And as much as I would like to have laughed at that joke, it's kind of serious now. I mean, April 1st is 10, 11 days away, and it won't be a happy April Fool's Day. It'll be... It's gonna, it's gonna be mind-blowing stress that I don't have May's rent. I mean, I will. I know I will. I've got lots of web contracts coming in, but I haven't done the job search project, and I still haven't figured out how to do the job. What happened to the camera? Oh, I see. <clears throat> Sorry. I still haven't figured out how to do the job search project. So I still haven't figured out how I can make money without getting a job without interfering with the job that I already have. And that's going to be the death of me, as they say. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm seeing this counselor, and I'm, I've gone on medication, and it was made very clear to me that neither one of those is a solution unless I change. And the time to change, well, I say I change at glacial speeds, but now I've got to change in 10 and 11 days. Well, okay. 41 days. <laughs> I can always push it back. The procrastinator finds a way. So, today is a Wednesday. Oh, today's Thursday. I missed hump day. Um, which means tomorrow's Friday, which means I look back and I go, ah, I didn't do anything. <clears throat> I wish I had a solution. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. He looks into the camera. He feels guilty about making another depressed video instead of a happy video. <sighs> Gotta figure it out. But I don't have to figure it out now, on camera, while you watch me be depressed. <laughs> be, you know, it's, I don't know, I find humor in in uh, guilt of depression, in trying to be a, a proper videoer. I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube this morning. Somebody sent me a link. Scott sent me a link. He's probably watching this. And I watched one YouTube video in the morning, and I should never do that, because uh, Howard Stern's not on Thursdays, so I have nothing else, so I started watching other videos, and then you click, and you click, and you're... And soon it is 8.19. I woke up at about 5.30 in the morning, and I haven't done anything but watch videos, and I made my Give 100 videos. But, 
I'm, I'm, it's an interesting thing because in my head I have a little bit of pride in the way that I talk to the camera and, and that I know with the right material I could be an entertaining YouTube personality. But then I look at the videos that I've made, 70, I guess it's 78 today, 78 today, and the, you know, I'm not really proud of them. It's a journey. It's a process. It's my, it's, sorry, distracted. It's my job search project. And, uh, today 77, I'm sorry. And why is today 77? Should be, anyway, sorry. Um, and I'm not really proud of these videos. You know, they're, they're not really enjoyable and watchable. They're just me struggling. And some days I'm happy up here, and some days I'm low down here. But they're not classic YouTube channel videos. And I kind of think when I turn the camera on, I don't, I, I can't think. I'm, I, I'm not funny. I, I got no ideas, and I'm not worth watching. And the little red devil on my shoulder says, Stop doing these videos. No one's liking them. Um, and I see other people, and they're making great videos. And when I'm not on the camera, I think I could do that. I have lots of ideas. I've been making videos for hundreds of years. Okay, not hundreds of years. My first video was eight millimeter, seven minutes of film, silent, of course, and it took two weeks to process, and probably about thirty dollars. And I don't have it anymore. But <laughs> since I've had a video camera, I have been making videos and. I've wanted to do it publicly, but as soon as that camera turns on, I just I start rambling about my depression. And now this video is seven minutes and no one's watching this long. I could give away prizes at the end. Mm -hmm. No. Um, so I'm hoping that I... I don't know. My mind floods with possibilities and then I don't do any of them. So maybe the counseling is going to help. And... If it allows me to start dating, maybe I'll find a partner and have a happy life. But I've still got to pay the rent. Or cancel my cable, cancel my cell phone. <laughs> Reduce my costs. Learn to cook. Barbecue season starting soon. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just going on. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. I don't want to be sorry for these. Am I sorry? I'm sorry too much. But anyhow, that's it. Uh, I end. Thanks for watching me on Frogstar TV. Jeff Goble. Signing out, I guess. Till tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow I'll have a happy video. <laughs> and people will think, hmm, maybe he's bipolar. But I don't think I'm bipolar. Anyhow, uh, that's it. Thank you. And good night. Or good morning. Or good afternoon. Or why am I still talking?